Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. This video shows you what these thumbnails are at the bottom of the screen that might have appeared on your iPad since you uploaded iOS 15. Now, these are the multitasking features of iOS 15 so that you can run two apps side by side, should I say compatible apps side by side, because not every app is compatible with multitasking. Or you can run two web pages side by side if you wish. So. To get rid of these, all you do is just put your finger on the lightest one that's down the bottom here, okay, and just swipe upwards quickly, okay, and that gets rid of it, and then just tap anywhere away from the uh, the little thumbnail, and the other one will go, and if we come out of it and go back into it, there you go, it's gone. Now, how did these appear on the screen in the first place? Now, you might have noticed on some apps at the top of the screen, you've got three dots just there. So just tap on those three dots, okay? And then we've got here this full screen new window, or we can put something to the left of the, uh, the screen, or we can put something to the right of the screen. So by saying something there, what I mean is if we tap on the left there, there you go, the, the web page has gone to the left and it's got split for you, choose another app. So let's just go back into Chrome again there. And there we go, we've got two versions of Google Chrome running side by side on the screen. So we could have the news on that side of the screen and another website on this side of the screen and we can look at them both. How do you come out of this? How do you get rid of this? So the best thing to do is tap on the three dots at the top of the screen, anyone either on the left hand side or the right hand side, get this up here, okay, and then just tap on this one here on the left, this icon on the left, okay, that brings it out full screen, okay, that's fine, we've gone back to full screen, but if we come out of the app and then we go back into it there, there you go, you'll see these annoying little thumbnail icons are still there. Now we can just tap between the two websites if we want to there, but they do somewhat get in the way. So if we wanna get rid of one, like I say, pick the lightest one, put your finger on it and swipe upwards very quickly. Now, if that doesn't work, I don't think this has worked, let's just check it. So I'm just gonna come out of the app and go back into it. No, it hasn't worked. It's a bit of a fine art. You have to quickly sort of flick it up like so, so it might take you a few attempts to do this, so just put your, put your finger on it and flick up, there you go, and uh, it's gone. So to get rid of the other one, just tap anywhere away from that box and uh, it disappears. And let's just see if it hasn't worked or not. So just go into Chrome, there you go, it has worked. So let's just have a look at a few more features of the multitasking feature. So just tap the dots there, okay. And let's tap the right one here now, and it pops that page over to the right, and we can open up another app, or the same app if we want to. I'm gonna open up the same app, and there we go. We've got, uh, like I say, two windows open, and this one is a bit of a floating sort of window. So we can just tap and hold on the three dots at the top there, okay, and we can just move the app around the screen to wherever we want it. If we want to dock it to the left or the right, again, we just tap and hold on the three dots, okay, and just move it to the right. And it is a bit of, a, again, fine art of doing this. You have to move it down and then up again to get it to dock to the right. And again, the same thing here is tap on the three dots, keep your finger held down, go down, okay, and across to the left, and there you go that moves that window to the left. And then if we wanna go back to full screen, tap the three dots, tap on the full screen there, okay, and there you go, it loads full screen. And then if we come out the app, go back into it, and we see these again, like I say, just flick up on one, and then just tap away from the box on the other, and that gets rid of it. So there you go, that guide showed you how to get rid of those annoying little thumbnails that appear at the bottom of the screen and showed you a bit about the multitasking features of iOS 15 on your iPad. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all.
You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.